One thing about Michael Jackson, he lived in Trump Tower. And I in see your show all the time, Michael Jackson. Every night you have Michael Jackson, blah, blah, blah. You know, 15 years ago, I went to Madison Square Garden and I watched Michael Jackson perform and do that. Uh, and I'm uh, very happy that uh, he is in our country. It is my pleasure, it is my honor to be here in South Africa. I love you people very much. Michael Jackson, the king of pop, the man who transformed music, dance, and pop culture forever. We know him for his chart-topping hits, his moonwalk, and the electrifying performances that made him a global icon. But what if there was more to his legacy? What if his influence stretched far beyond the music and deep into the world of politics in ways most fans never knew? You see, while Michael captivated the world with his art, he was also quietly engaging with powerful political and social causes, becoming an unlikely voice for change. Change. Hidden from the public eye, Michael's involvement in social and political issues was more significant and more controversial than anyone ever imagined. Behind the polished pop star persona, Michael's ties to political figures, humanitarian causes, and his bold stance on social issues reveal a side of him that he carefully kept out of the spotlight. As his fame grew, Michael faced the challenge of balancing his passion for change with the public's expectations of him as an entertainer. He knew that his influence was powerful, capable of reaching millions, and he used this to subtly weave messages of unity, peace, and justice into his music. But that was only the beginning. What few people realize is that Michael wasn't content with merely singing about change. He sought to be part of it. Over the years, he built relationships with world leaders, engaged in private conversations with activists, and made significant financial contributions to causes he cared about. His friendships with influential figures went beyond photo opportunities. They became avenues through which he could support humanitarian efforts, advocate for equality, and even discuss global justice. Yet, Michael went to great lengths to keep his political engagement under wraps guarding his public image while he quietly became a force for change. This wasn't the image the world knew, and Michael knew it had to be this way. His influence was felt in places far removed from his concerts and music videos, as he pushed boundaries in his own quiet revolution. Why did he feel the need to keep his political connections and contributions so carefully hidden? And what were the risks he faced if the world found out? This is the untold story of Michael Jackson's complex, unexpected involvement in the political world, a story that reveals a man who was not only a legendary performer, but perhaps also a quiet revolutionary, using his fame to shape the world in ways few will ever fully understand. Michael's journey into activism began subtly, woven into the fabric of his music long before most people noticed. In the early days of his career, his songs were bright, catchy, and filled with an infectious pop appeal. But as he grew older and more attuned to the world around him, Michael's music began to shift, carrying hints of a deeper message. By the late the 80s and 90s, his lyrics had taken on a powerful tone, addressing issues that were deeply personal to him, racial inequality, social justice, and environmental preservation. Michael understood the power of his reach, and with songs like They Don't Care About Us, Black or White, and Earth Song, he transformed his music into a platform for awareness. In They Don't Care About Us, Michael took a bold stand against the realities of systemic oppression, especially concerning racism and inequality. The lyrics were direct, powerful, and unapologetic, a statement that challenged the audience to confront the realities many people face daily. Michael knew the song's intensity would raise eyebrows, and he was right. The media's reaction was immediate, with some accusing him of being too political, while others claimed he was pushing boundaries that pop stars were supposed to avoid. Despite the backlash, Michael remained steadfast, refusing to change the lyrics or water down his message. He saw this song as a voice for the voiceless, a rallying cry that exposed issues of injustice that in his eyes needed to be addressed, no matter the cost. Then there was Black or White, a song that celebrated unity across racial lines and sought to break down barriers in a time when division still ran deep. Through powerful lyrics and a vibrant music video, Michael conveyed a message of acceptance and equality, addressing the racial prejudices that had divided societies for generations. The video alone was groundbreaking, with scenes of transformation and unity that pushed the boundaries of visual storytelling. It was a message of hope and change, and one that Michael held close to his heart. 
mark. This wasn't just another pop hit. It was a statement, a way for Michael to use his music to bridge divides and inspire listeners to see beyond skin color. And he understood that his influence went beyond music, that his words could inspire others to think, feel, and take action. Yet Michael was aware of the risks involved in being so outspoken. He knew he could alienate fans who preferred his less controversial music or attract criticism from those who felt he was stepping outside the bounds of entertainment. But for Michael, the decision was clear. He had a platform, and he was going to use it to speak up, regardless of the consequences. In these songs, Michael didn't just entertain, he challenged, he provoked, and he invited his audience to see the world as he did, full of beauty yet needing change. And while his music reached millions, raising awareness and sparking conversations worldwide, it was only the beginning. Behind the scenes, Michael's activism would go even deeper. His involvement in social causes would soon extend beyond the lyrics, taking him down a path that was as unexpected as it was impactful. Michael's activism wasn't limited to his music. He also formed deep personal connections with some of the world's most influential political figures. Far beyond mere photo opportunities, these relationships allowed Michael to use his star power to influence conversations about social justice, humanitarian aid, and equality. One of his most well-known political friendships was with Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa and a global symbol of resilience against apartheid. Michael admired Mandela's commitment to justice and freedom, and the two developed a close bond, with Michael often expressing his support for Mandela's mission both publicly and privately. Their connection wasn't just about friendship. Michael saw Mandela as a mentor and an inspiration. Whenever he had the opportunity, he would promote Mandela's vision, speaking out against racism and inequality in ways that resonated with his fans worldwide. In the 90s, Michael even visited South Africa and met with Mandela personally, a gesture that solidified his dedication to supporting causes of freedom and equality. By aligning himself with Mandela, Michael wasn't just expanding his network. He was making a public statement about his own beliefs and values, quietly aligning his brand with the fight for human rights. But Mandela wasn't the only political figure in Michael's circle. In the US, he also had a long-standing connection with President Ronald Reagan. Their relationship began in the 1980s, a time when Michael's popularity was skyrocketing, and Reagan was seeking ways to connect with the youth of America. While the partnership started with anti-drug campaigns, Michael saw it as a way to use his fame to spread positive messages and bridge the gap between entertainment and public service. Reagan even invited Michael to the White House, where the two discussed ways to inspire young people to make positive choices and lead lives free from substance abuse. Although their relationship was largely professional, it highlighted Michael's willingness to collaborate with leaders to promote meaningful causes. These friendships and alliances were more than superficial. They reflected Michael's desire to influence change at a global level. Whether it was Mandela's fight for equality or Reagan's initiatives to combat drug abuse, Michael understood that his fame could be a powerful tool for advocacy. He wasn't content with simply being a performer Former. He wanted to engage with leaders who had the power to shape policies and affect lives on a larger scale. In a world where celebrities often shy away from politics, Michael boldly stepped forward knowing that these connections could amplify his own message of peace, unity, and justice. Yet, despite these high-profile relationships, Michael rarely spoke openly about his political alliances. He understood that being associated with politicians and social causes could be polarizing, and he carefully protected his public image as a musician rather than an activist. Still, those who knew him well could see the impact of these relationships on his life and work. They weren't just friendships, they were partnerships in the fight for a better world. But Michael's commitment went even further, as he would soon begin supporting these causes financially, a side of his activism that he worked hard to keep out of the spotlight. Beyond his friendships with influential figures, Michael Jackson quietly supported numerous social and political causes financially, using his wealth to drive real change without drawing attention to himself. Unlike many celebrities who openly advertise their charitable contributions, Michael often chose to keep his financial support under wraps, preferring to work behind the scenes rather than in the public eye. Over the years, he donated millions to organizations and initiatives that focused on civil rights, child welfare, and environmental protection, believing that real impact didn't require the fanfare. One of Michael's biggest contributions was to civil rights organizations that championed racial equality and justice. He felt strongly about the need to support communities facing discrimination and inequality, and he used his resources to back groups that were working to dismantle systemic oppression. Michael's donations helped fund educational programs, legal support, and community initiatives that empowered people of color, though he rarely, if ever, spoke about these
these contributions publicly. His commitment to these causes was genuine, driven by a deep-seated desire to see a world where all people were treated equally. Michael was also passionate about children's rights and health care, often donating large sums to hospitals, orphanages, and child advocacy organizations around the world. One of his most significant contributions was the establishment of the Heal the World Foundation, which aimed to improve the lives of children by providing food, medical care, and education to those in need. Through this foundation, Michael was able to support projects that aligned with his vision for a healthier, more compassionate world. He personally visited hospitals, spoke with children and families, and offered not just his money, but his time and attention, often insisting that these visits remain private to protect the dignity of those he was helping. Environmental causes were also close to Michael's heart. His concern for the planet's well-being extended beyond the messages in his music. He actively supported environmental organizations that focused on protecting rainforests, fighting pollution, and preserving wildlife. Michael understood that the planet's health was essential for future generations, and he saw his contributions as an investment in a sustainable future. Yet, true to his style, he made sure that these donations went largely unnoticed, wanting the focus to remain on the issues rather than on him. Michael's choice to support these causes quietly speaks volumes about his character. He wasn't driven by a need for recognition or praise. Rather, he was motivated by a sincere desire to make a difference. To him, real change didn't need a spotlight. It needed action, dedication, and resources. His secret contributions reveal a side of him that was more focused on the impact of his work than on the public's perception. But Michael's financial support was only one part of his involvement. In time, he would take his commitment to these causes even further, putting not only his money but his image and reputation on the line to stand up for what he believed in. Michael's commitment to social and political causes wasn't just about quiet donations or private conversations. There were times when he took bold public stands that risked his career, reputation, and even personal relationships. At a time when many celebrities preferred to stay neutral to protect their public image, Michael was willing to challenge the status quo, using his platform to bring attention to issues others were too afraid to touch. One of the most notable examples of this was his stance on police brutality and racial injustice. A top he addressed directly in his controversial song, They Don't Care About Us. The song, with its unfiltered lyrics and powerful message, called out systemic oppression and the mistreatment of marginalized communities. It was an uncompromising statement that drew immediate backlash, especially from media outlets that felt Michael had gone too far. Critics accused him of being too political and claimed he was pushing boundaries that should be reserved for politicians, not entertainers. But Michael didn't back down. For him, this song was a necessary message a way to speak out for those who couldn't, even if it meant risking his reputation. He was acutely aware of how his fame could amplify the voices of those who had been silenced, and he wasn't afraid to use it. Michael's willingness to speak out on controversial issues extended beyond his music. During times of global humanitarian crises, he used his visibility to draw attention to tragedies that others ignored. From famine in Africa to child welfare in impoverished countries, Michael didn't shy away from discussing difficult topics publicly even when it made some uncomfortable. He took part in major charity singles like We Are The World, which he co-wrote to raise money for African famine relief. This wasn't just a passing involvement. Michael's passion for making a difference led him to devote considerable time and resources to ensure that his influence translated into tangible help. But taking a stand came at a cost. As he became more vocal, Michael found himself under increasing scrutiny, facing harsh criticism from those who felt his activism was inappropriate for a pop star. His his advisors frequently cautioned him, warning that his activism could alienate fans or hurt his career. Yet Michael saw his position as an opportunity to break barriers, to prove that an artist could be both an entertainer and an advocate. If I can't stand up for what I believe in, he reportedly told those close to him, then what's the point of any of this? Despite the personal and professional risks, Michael's passion for these causes only grew stronger. He understood that standing up for justice often meant standing alone, and he was willing to bear the brunt of the criticism criticism if it meant sparking conversations that mattered. His courage to speak out, even when it could have cost him everything, made him more than just an entertainer. It revealed a side of Michael that was committed, not just to his art, but to creating a lasting impact on the world. And while the world remembers him for his music, those closest to him knew that his desire to help others was just as profound. But as we'll see next, this was only a glimpse of Michael's vision for social change, a vision that would ultimately lead him to take even greater risks. 
Michael's dedication to social change went beyond his music, friendships, and public stands. He began to hold private meetings with some of the world's most passionate activists and leaders, discussing issues like economic inequality, racial justice, and global human rights. These weren't casual conversations. Michael took these meetings seriously, seeing them as an opportunity to learn from people who were on the front lines of change. These quiet gatherings allowed him to dive deeper into the issues he cared about, seeking ways to make a more lasting impact beyond what his music alone could achieve. Among these influential figures were activists, intellectuals, and nonprofit leaders who shared Michael's vision for a more compassionate world. He sought their insights on how best to use his platform to promote justice, reduce poverty, and encourage peace. Michael wasn't content with simply lending his name to causes. He wanted to understand the complexities of the issues and explore how his influence could be used effectively. In some meetings, he expressed a desire to support specific causes more openly, but he knew that the backlash and the risks were real. His advisors often cautioned him, warning that his deeper involvement could lead to conflicts with industry powers or even provoke criticism from fans who preferred to see him strictly as an entertainer. Despite these warnings, Michael continued to meet with these activists, quietly planning ways to integrate his music, resources, and influence into meaningful actions. His conversations often touched on economic inequality and the barriers faced by marginalized communities worldwide. Michael believed that his fame gave him a unique position from which he could bridge divides, and he explored how his influence could be channeled toward fostering global unity. These meetings gave him a glimpse of what true activism looked like, showing him the sacrifices and courage required to create real change. One meeting in particular had a lasting impact on Michael's outlook. He reportedly met with a group of human rights advocates who shared stories of communities devastated by conflict, oppression, and poverty. Moved by their accounts, Michael began to realize the true scale of the issues facing the world and became more determined to do something about it. Those close to him noted that he emerged from these meetings with a renewed sense of purpose, inspired by the resilience and strength of the people he had spoken with. He saw himself as more than just a performer. He wanted to be an ally, a voice, and perhaps even a catalyst for change. But Michael knew the challenges he faced in pursuing this dream. He was already a polarizing figure in many respects, and taking a more direct role in activism would undoubtedly draw more scrutiny. Still, these meetings ignited a fire in him, pushing him to think bigger and bolder. He realized that he had a chance to use his influence to create something lasting, a legacy not just of music, but of meaningful impact. And while his advisors urged him to be cautious, Cautious, Michael couldn't ignore the call to action he felt. This commitment to change would continue to grow, eventually shaping his vision for a world where unity, compassion, and justice could prevail. As Michael's understanding of social issues deepened, so did his vision for the future, a vision where his influence went beyond entertainment, uniting people across cultures and inspiring real change. He began to imagine a world where his music, fame, and resources could be combined to create a powerful force for good, a way to reach people on a global scale and encourage them to take action. To him, his artistry was just the beginning. He wanted to leave a legacy that would inspire others to care, to empathize, and to fight for a better world. This was a vision more radical than the public ever knew, one that he rarely spoke about but always kept close to his heart. Michael believed that his role as an artist came with a responsibility to advocate for the voiceless. His dream was to establish a movement that transcended borders, one that focused on social justice, environmental sustainability, sustainability, and global unity. He envisioned using his concerts and tours as platforms for awareness, integrating messages of peace and equality into his performances in ways that could resonate with millions. In his eyes, music was a universal language, and he wanted to harness that power to bridge divides, bringing people from different backgrounds together with a shared purpose. But this vision wasn't without its challenges. Michael knew that openly pursuing social change on such a grand scale would come with risks, especially in an industry that often discouraged celebrities from taking political stances. He faced pressure from advisors, managers, and even friends, some of whom believed that going too far into activism could alienate fans or lead to further controversy. There were fears that his growing focus on social causes could overshadow his music or even hurt his career. But for Michael, this vision was bigger than fame. It was about making a real, lasting difference in the world.
In private moments, Michael reportedly shared this dream with those closest to him, describing how he wanted to create a legacy that went beyond records and awards. He wanted to see a world where artists could use their platforms to address issues like poverty, discrimination, and environmental destruction without fear of backlash. His vision was for a global community driven by empathy and action, where people of all backgrounds could come together to tackle the pressing issues of the time. Michael's dream of uniting people through his art was deeply personal to him, and he was willing to take on the risks that came with it. Though he knew he might face criticism, he believed that his influence could inspire others to look beyond themselves, to care about the world around them, and to work toward a future where peace and equality were within reach. This vision was perhaps his most ambitious dream, one that he carried quietly but passionately until the end of his life. And while he may not have achieved everything he wanted during his lifetime, the seeds he planted through his music and activism would continue to grow, inspiring a new generation generation of artists to carry his vision forward. Michael Jackson's legacy today is far more than just his music. It's a powerful testament to his commitment to making the world a better place. His dedication to social issues and his quiet yet impactful activism continue to influence countless people and artists. While he may have kept much of his involvement out of the spotlight, the causes he championed and the vision he dreamed of live on, inspiring a new generation to use their platforms for change. In his lifetime, Michael didn't just enter he awakened conversations about justice, equality, and unity, showing that art could be a powerful force for good. His impact is seen not only in the music industry, but in the broader world of social activism. Michael's approach, using art to provoke thought and inspire empathy, paved the way for today's artists who feel empowered to speak up on issues that matter to them. Artists now openly incorporate messages about climate change, mental health, social justice, and more into their work, following a path that Michael helped carve out decades ago. He proved that one voice, when amplified by fame and fueled by passion, could spark a global movement. His legacy of using art as a means for activism has created ripples, encouraging others to take on the causes he once supported quietly. And while he didn't live to see the full realization of his vision, his influence is undeniable. Michael's songs continued to resonate, and his commitment to equality, environmental protection, and humanitarian aid remains an inspiration. Charities, movements, movements and artists continued to build upon the foundations he laid, channeling their creativity and resources toward a future that reflects his ideals of peace, unity, and empathy. So was Michael Jackson simply a pop icon, or was he a quiet revolutionary wielding his art and influence to reshape our collective future? Perhaps we'll never fully know the extent of his impact, but one thing is clear, Michael's legacy reaches far beyond the music charts. His work lives on, a reminder that fame can be more than entertainment, it can be a power powerful tool to bring the world closer to justice, compassion, and unity. And in that sense, Michael's legacy isn't just alive, it's thriving, inspiring us all to see the world not just as it is, but as it could be.